welcome to Easy Biology. Today's video is going to be focused on meiosis, which is similar to mitosis. For this reason, I highly recommend watching my previous video on mitosis, which I will put on the icon. This will be a brief video, but I will be making a more in-depth video another time on my channel. This video will mainly be introducing you to some basic points, which will help you understand the more detailed videos. Meiosis, in a nutshell, is a type of cell division in germ cells that is used to create diploid gametes, also known as sperm and egg cells. Germline cells are the term that describes all of the cells in the body that are involved in reproduction. They are able to divide by, by meiosis, which then allows them to pass on genetic information. Unlike somatic cells, which have two sets of chromosomes and so are called diploid cells with 46 chromosomes. If you want to learn about how somatic cells gain 46 chromosomes, my video on mitosis will be very helpful. But it's really, really important to remember that most of the cells in your body are diploid, with only the sex cells being haploid. And so just another reminder that haploid cells are cells with only one set of chromosomes, and they usually have 23 chromosomes. But how do germline cells even form gametes? Well, the first step is for the nucleus of the cell to undergo cell division twice. You could imagine it as a cell undergoing mitosis two times. When the cell divides for the first time, it is a diploid cell as there are still two sets of chromosomes in each daughter cell. When the cell divides for the second time, the daughter cells are further divided, forming four new daughter cells. This also results in the chromosomes being split evenly between each cell, causing each cell to only have one set of chromosomes. And so this is how haploid cells are made. An important thing to note is that unlike mitosis, the cells in meiosis are not genetic copies of each other. They have variation, which happens as a result of recombination and independent assortment. Recombination is kind of like swapping. It's basically when genetic information is exchanged between two between different chromosomes or even different regions on the same chromosome. This happens with the chromosomes, which means that none of the genetic code is the same as the parent cell. Independent assortment is basically when the alleles of the different genes are arranged randomly with nothing affecting this arrangement. So to summarize, meiosis is a special kind of cell division that only happens in germ cells. When this happens, cell division happens twice, resulting in one set of the chromosomes in each of the four daughter cells. These cells are called haploid because they only have one set of chromosomes. And that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section. This is a very brief video discussing meiosis and I will do a more in-depth video later on in my channel. If you'd like to see that, please comment that in the comment section. However, if you want more information right now, I will put a link down below with clear explanations on how each stage works in detail. Thank you.